How's it going everyone? Javita here with a Beacon Fuel Crash Course. This was requested by, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Agi Agam? Uh, but that's about the best I can figure out. Sorry if it's mispronounced. But anyway, getting down to business. Before I get too distracted, I am trying out several new settings for my microphone that should allow me to eliminate pretty much all of my sound editing and whatnot and theoretically will keep volumes and everything very consistent. So if you have any strong opinions, whether it's good, better, worse, any of anything in between, uh, let me know in the comments down below. But getting started, uh, as of release 188, we now craft beacon fuels in order to fuel the beacon. Go figure. The main characteristic about beacon fuel you need to keep in mind is that each type will have a maximum amount of fuel that it will fuel for, or a maximum amount of time rather, and basically you just put one fuel into your beacon and it's going to automatically do its maximum. You don't have to put more than one, in fact it will prevent you from putting more than one because uh, for instance, minor beacon fuel, it will fuel up to two weeks or 14 days, and if you try to put another one on top of it, it will just refresh that two weeks. And it'll even tell you that, no, you can't do that because you're going to waste too much fuel, and it'll tell you that it literally will only add like two or three seconds, uh, depending on when the last time you fueled it. So that's a good thing to note that you really only need one of these per beacon when you're fueling them. So going through here in the descriptions, as you can see, it lists how long it will fuel for. So minor beacon fuel, this only takes leaves to craft. You can craft this from the beginning of the game, basically uh, two weeks. Coming over here to lesser and we go all the way up to 28 days or four weeks. So that's pretty nice, a month at a time. And over here we have 56 days or eight weeks. So two months at a time. That's pretty sweet. I mean, if you can't manage to fuel your beacons every two months, um, yeah. And over here we have improved beacon fuel. There's actually a typo here. I reported it, so hopefully it'll get fixed in the next uh, incremental update or whatnot. It says 60 days, but this will actually fuel for up to 12 weeks, which should be 84 days. So, yeah. And then finally over here we have the maximum of 112 days or 16 weeks, which should be, what, four months? So that's pretty nice right there. This is of course the most involved to craft, but come over here and down here it will tell you would add two weeks. So the instance of the improved where it has the typo, it does list the correct fuel time down here. So very nice. So we got the lesser for four weeks, basic for eight, proved for 12, and then greater for 16. Very nice. So other than simplicity of fueling beacons, this also gates how long you can fuel your beacon based off of both exploration and progression. So again, this minor beacon fuel, it only takes leaves to craft. Technically, you only need this minor beacon fuel as long as you're willing to fuel your, all your beacons every two weeks, which really isn't that bad. That's half a month, and if you're actively playing, it's really just kind of, I guess, an annoyance to have to go to all your beacons and fuel them, you know, every two weeks. So kind of a trade-off of pick your own pain. Do you want a really cheap fuel but have to fuel often or start using some of these more advanced fuels? When it comes to the nitty-gritty of each individual recipe, Balmore has actually done an in-depth video on how to craft these and where to get all the materials. So be sure to check out his video, I'll put a link in the description on how to find all these individual ingredients. I will kind of gloss over, uh, as I've said before, the minor beacon fuel, it only takes foliage or leaves, pretty simple, you can craft that from the beginning of the game, you can even handcraft this. Coming down here to lesser beacon fuel, requires a workbench, fresh vital essence which would require an extractor, coming down a little bit further. Same thing, except now we're adding a spicy bean, which would come from yucca plants, and also needs some spark, so a little bit more complicated. 
coming down to improve beacon fuel. Now we need an orb. All orbs come from mushrooms and this particular orb will come from glowing mushrooms found in the caves of moons and ring worlds. It also requires a different beam which can be found from fiddleheads. The main thing here is that now it starts requiring power which would require at least 20 workbench power coils or 7 advanced workbench power coils. So a fair jump in complexity there. And finally greater beacon fuel. This is the best fuel in the game so naturally it's going to be the most complicated. It has the requirement of 45 100 power which requires at least 15 advanced power coils you could have some advanced power coils and kind of mix in some basic ones but since the maximum coils you can have connected to a machine is 24 there's no way to get this much power using only the basic coils uh, up here the bean is a little bit different which is a bitter bean which can be found from the snowdrops that basically favor any icy area as long as you're not on a home world. So you can go to somewhere like Epsilo, Scepterfawn, Volpto, Alternic, all of those plants have ice and should have snowdrops. Uh, down here, the main thing, ooh, Shadow Orb. These come from Dripping Fungus, which are exceedingly rare, which favor icy conditions and seem to be strongly associated with floating mountains. They're still at ground level, underneath or very close to floating mountains. I've never found them up on the floating mountains, nor have I ever found them below the floating mountains, just right there at surface level under or very close to them so yeah <laughs> okay well i think that covers this video quite nicely again i'm using new microphone settings so let me know what you think of those this should allow me to cut a few steps out of my editing process which means faster videos so that's a huge plus there but enough of that this was javita thanks for watching if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more like this, and if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Until next time, peace.